How's it going? It's Lewis Fair back from Aesthetic Detail Studio, and we are gonna be discussing a one-step paint correction, what that entails, what's needed, tools that you'll use, different polishes, pads, compounds, and how you at home would approach doing a one-step correction so that you can safely enter that process without having any fear or worry about burning through your paint, causing more defects, causing more issues. This video should help you be able to grab a machine, a pad, and a polish combination, go to your vehicle, and effectively one-step it. First, let's discuss some of the machines. First of all, let's discuss the rotary. This right here might be a very familiar tool for most of you guys as you might find one in the garage. You saw your father, grandfather, somebody using one on their car ages ago. Has a max speed of, I believe, 3,500, 3,500 RPM. Straight speed, all power, nothing but torque. Generally, this is overkill, and if you're not skilled, this is not a machine that you wanna pick up and go to your paint and start polishing with without some serious training and knowledge behind you. You can make paint look its absolute best with a rotary polisher, but once again, if you don't have that skill set knowledge base needed in order to use this tool, you can do a lot more harm than good. It's a straight spin, it just spins, all spinning. So from 600 RPM all the way up to 3500 RP, 3, RPM, it's gonna spin, and no matter what edge, contour, curve, or body line that you put this on, it's not gonna slow down. Next up, we have the DA Long Throw Polisher. This is my Rupes Mark III Bigfoot 15. But at home, this would be a great starting tool for you to go out, purchase one, or purchase one like it. This is a 15 millimeter throw, dual action, long throw polisher. This would be great for any type of home paint corrections and one steps that you might want to do at home. So as you can see, I can free spin that back and plate, which means there is no forced motor driving this rotational. The only thing it controls is that oscillation on the back of the pad. And as it oscillates the pad, it creates a natural spinning motion of the pad. No matter what, I can hold on to that. It's gonna stop that rotation from happening. It'll oscillate but if I hit the wrong edge, hold the machine at the wrong angle, run up into a hard body line or body curve, it'll slow this machine down and begin to stop it so that you have some type of safety margin when you come to those edges because edges are the thinnest areas of paint on a vehicle. So this kind of gives you that safety buffer. When it comes to one steps, my absolute favorite, we have the force rotation dual action, meaning the spinning action is forced as well as the oscillation. So this is a forced spin, and when it stops, you see the machine stops because there's a gear set that drives the rotation of this pad, as well as oscillation of the whole back and plate itself. So essentially, imagine a rotary and the dual action polisher combined into one machine to try and give you the best of both worlds. This is my favorite machine to go to for a one-step correction. Generally, this is gonna give you a great amount of cut and a good amount of finish while not overdoing any side of one or the other. This machine isn't gonna slow down, you're not gonna lose cut, you're not gonna lose momentum, torque, or ability from the machine as you run into those body lines and curves. For a one-step, we keep pad selection extremely simple here. Um, a one-step correction, you're just looking to remove some of the scratches, the swirl mark defects, oxidation, water spotting, etching, and as much of that stuff as you can with one pad, polish, and machine combination in at least one to two passes. A machine pass, in my eyes, is a full crosshatch pattern, which is up to down, up and down, side to side, one time. So you'll go up and down one time and side to side across that pattern one time to create that one section pass. The orange pad is generally my favorite go-to for one-step corrections because it's a nice, firm pad with dense foam that gives a great amount of cut and finishes down extremely well on most paint. Also, depending on the paint system, you can run into this Rupes yellow fine cut pad. This works extremely well on softer paints. 
we have the 3D light purple. Um, this is comparable to the orange foam pad, except I would say this one is a little bit softer. It cuts a little bit less than the orange foam in my eyes, but it's really dependent on the cutting fluid that I use with it that really lets me determine how much cut out of any pad that I would want. When you're correcting paint, generally you can use the pad and polish combination to really raise or lower how much cut you get or how much finish that you get out of a certain combination as well as with the machine. So when I combine my force rotation machine with the orange pad with a diminishing polish that's gonna start off more aggressive and then break down to something a little bit more finer to finish out better, I am chasing the best finishing abilities that I can get while delivering some type of correction or restoration process in that whole procedure. Here I have four of my usual go-to cutting fluids that I use for correction process. A lot of you at home have probably gone to your local parts store, wherever you lo go locally to purchase compounds, cutting fluids, detailing supplies, and you've probably been met with a bunch of different products that generally look like this and you have no idea which one to purchase. Well, let me give you a quick rundown of the difference between those three, starting with the heavy cutting compound. Generally, it'll have terms like heavy cut, compound, ultra cut, extreme cut. If you're looking to do a one step and if you aren't very careful with the machine and pad choice and how that actual product is formulated, you can end up micro marring your paint to no end. Something like that, you probably might wanna take the time out to consult a professional, but generally most cutting fluids can be purchased in sets and you just wanna read each of the bottles. On this bottle, it kinda of gives you a, a scale of cut and finishability, uh, cut and gloss per se. On this one, we have a nine cut and a five gloss which means it is gonna cut extremely well. It is gonna remove a lot of defects, oxidation, scratches, swirl marks, water spotting. The stuff that you're looking to remove from your paint, this is gonna be able to remove that extremely well and extremely quick. But when you finish and when you wipe this, the remnants of this off the panel, it's not gonna be as glossy as it would be from something a little bit finer, from a smaller abrasive, from a diminishing abrasive that is gonna break down to almost nothing to generally burnish or jewel the surface during the final second steps, uh, passes of your machine. This will follow down with the fine cut. This offers a six on the cutting scale, but a seven on the gloss scale, so it cuts less than a heavy cutting compound, but it's gonna leave a much glossier finish behind because this has a smaller abrasive and it is gonna break down as you polish so that it can level out those micro marring, those fine scratches and defects that may appear when using this product as it is still a possibility because this is still the medium of aggression in this cutting fluid set. To bring it all the way down to the least aggressive cutting fluid. This one has a three on the cutting scale and a nine on the gloss scale. This is barely gonna cut and remove any defects. If you're just looking to quickly polish up, quickly gloss up, quickly shine up your vehicle, you could grab this, put this on generally almost any pad as long as it's not a heavy wool cutting pad or a heavy aggressive cutting pad, work it over the surface, and enhance the gloss and finish of your vehicle. Generally, using this on a heavily defective vehicle will leave most of the scratches and swirl marks behind as it is not designed to be a cutting fluid. It is not designed to be a heavy compounding fluid to remove defects. It's made to remove those final light scratches, light hazes from you know, a cutting procedure. It is made to remove and level that down while giving the highest amount of gloss and shine that can be achieved from this product out of that paint surface. Pick up all three of the options of the bottle, read the labels. Heavy cut, fine cut, medium cut, and that way you'll be able to determine what's best for the application that you're using so that you don't just dive right in, spend a bunch of money on a product that you can't use 
end up back at the sport store spending 30 to 40 dollars on a bottle of cutting fluid because these things aren't cheap buy once buy smart read the bottle watch the videos do the research and i guarantee you you will not be let down in your searches for what you need you at home if you don't plan on doing this for a living if you're not running your polishers every day you don't have to go out and spend the money on a high-end professional grade machine harbor freight offers the bauer line of products where that's a efficient dual action long throw machine it's effective it works you can go and purchase one of those and effectively have something that's equivalent to my roots 15 millimeter polisher hopefully you've learned something here with all of this information that we gave you i want to dive into this one step correction Hopefully you guys pay attention to the techniques, pay attention to how I'm holding the machine, moving the machine, my arm speed, to get familiar with the process so that you can go home, go out to the garage and have a bit more confidence to try and tackle this job on your own one of these nice weekends. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to leave a comment or shoot us a message. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you decide that you are gonna attempt to try out one of these, process attempt to knock out a one-step correction on your own please leave a comment let us know what machine you're going to purchase let us know what pads you're going to purchase let us know what compound of cutting fluid that you're going to purchase and once you complete the job send us a message go to the website send me an email lewis at aestheticdetailstudio.com send me pictures don't hesitate i'm here to help i love to help i love to bring new people and new faces into this thing that I love doing so much. Once again, this is Lewis Fair with Aesthetic Detail Studio, home of the Art of Detailing. We're signing off once again. Thank you for joining us today. Hope we see you around next time.